Hey, what's up guys? My name is Erica and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about my experience working on a cruise ship. So stick around and let's start today's adventure. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you're interested in ship life or you're interested in what I'm doing in ship life. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three things, how I got my job, what I'm actually doing, and what's to come in the future. How did I get my job? Simple as this. I applied, but really, it was quite a process. I knew I wanted to work on a cruise ship. I wanted to travel the world and see new things. Uh, I had researched it, it was something I knew I definitely wanted to do, but I did also want to do something that pertained to my major. So with that specific thing in mind, it was quite a narrow search, but there are company websites for cruise lines that you can go on and lots of them have jobs available. You can see what you wanna do. There's sites like Indeed, LinkedIn, I was looking everywhere and I was applying everywhere I could. So one day in my Google search, I typed in my job interest on a cruise line and an ad from ZipRecruiter came up. Now, I would never used ZipRecruiter and honestly, I saw this posting and I thought it was a scam. Uh, it said, costume designer needed for a major cruise line to hire immediately. That's all it said. There was no other information. Um, they had posted an hour before I saw it, so I thought, you know what, I might as well. I'm applying everywhere, like what's it gonna hurt if I apply here and it ends up being something weird? I might as well just give it a try, like what have I got to lose? So I did, I filled out my application, I submitted it, and then an hour later I got an email and it was basically just further explaining the job and saying that they wanted an interview. So I did a FaceTime interview with somebody and it actually went really great and they really did want someone immediately because right after that I was hired and I went on a ship a week later. Yes, a week later. <laughs> so it was quite a dramatic thing for me. I was living in my college apartment so I actually had to move out of it because my lease was ending in the middle that my contract was going to be. So I moved out of my apartment and I got on the ship in a week and it was a crazy experience but that's basically how I got my job. So what am I actually doing on the ship? I don't know if you caught it earlier but I said the job posting was for a costume designer. I went to school for fashion design and theater so this was exactly what I needed. I had experience sewing and it's definitely something I wanted to do. So right now I work as an independent contractor and I go on the ships and I work as a seamstress. My technical job position is called a costumer, but I'm sewing and altering the clothes for new productions that they're putting on the ship. So I do fittings with the cast that's going to be in the production and I sew the clothes. It's really fun. Um, I just basically get on when the clothes get on and I sew until it's done. My last contract was five weeks and this next one's about three. They're not very long. Typically, if you're working for the cruise line, you'll have a contract for six months or nine months depending on what you do. So like the theater cast that are in the production, they'll typically sign contracts for that long. Or if you're doing something like housekeeping or food service, those people work that long, but this I just get on and get off um, when the job is done. They don't always need me once all the clothes are fitted and the show's ready to go, it's over. That's it. So I don't really, it's unnecessary for me to be on that long. So honestly, this job was a lot better than I expected because I thought that I was going to have something like a six month contract. But this is really nice because it allows me to get on different ships and off, but I don't have that much of a time commitment as six months. I just have like a few weeks at a time. And honestly, the job is really cool. If you're thinking about it, you get to meet so many different people from around the world and you 
just get to like travel all over the world too what could be bad about that there are some things that could get a little sad i moved away from home for college and i also had an internship across the country so i'm used to traveling uh it's in my soul i have an adventurous spirit so i love moving around everywhere i don't have a problem with it but it can get a little sad at times you do get homesick so that's just some things to think about if you are considering something like this but honestly i love the job that i have so much and i'm so excited to keep going with it with this i wanted to talk about what's to come so previously i had mentioned that i have another contract coming up I have another one after that. I'm really excited about it. When I'm on the ship, I technically have a guest status, so I can go in the guest areas um, when I'm not working and I can walk around. So what I'd really like to do is share what the ships look like if you're interested in cruising or if you're interested in working just so you can see what it's all about. I would definitely like to talk more about what I'm doing. I can't say everything in this video because it would be way too long, but I'm sure everyone has questions, so please like ask me and I hope to answer them in the future. Subscribe to this channel and hopefully you'll be able to see. And also, the third thing I really want to do is show everyone where I'm going. I'm traveling the world now, so I'd really like to share that with my friends and my family and keep it in my memories. Um, I've always been in awe of people that show videos like that, and I'm so excited that I'm finally going to be able to start doing that for myself. With all that in mind, if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel so you can see what I'm going to post. I can't wait to see you guys next time for our next adventure.